They can plant a gun in my car, in my house, in my office. They can do anything. Former presidential candidate Joseph Kableta says President Museveni plans to arrest him and unveil him as one of the ADF rebels terrorizing parts of the Democratic Republic of Congo. I'm coming up with the details. In other news, is President Museveni's brother, General Salim Saleh, alive or dead? What is the truth of the matter? I'm sure you have been seeing these death rumors making grounds on social media, but you're wondering if it is true or not. Now, stand by for the details. <laughs> Well, in other news, Horebo Mathas Mbuga, the leader of opposition in parliament, has said he's not among the members of parliament who received the 40 million from the Speaker of Parliament, right Horebo Anita Among. Thank you so much for subscribing to the Buzz UG. And uh, in case you haven't, kindly subscribe and also tap on the bell for all the notifications. My name is Melad Milo, aka Fuller. <laughs> Last week, security officers dressed in civilian attires stormed former presidential candidate Joseph Kableta's offices in Bugolobi, Kampala, but their arrest attempt failed. Uh, Joseph Kableta says Museveni's plan is to get him arrested and unveil him as one of the ADF rebels and then treason charges put on him. Uh, Kableta says he's ready for anything because that is the same script President Museveni has used to rule Uganda for all these years. The plan was to get me, put me in a drone, take me to Luero and unveil me as one of the ADF. And then the treason charges start, then you're in court, out of court, court martial and what. Come later, ADF, are you kidding me? You do it. It's okay. We know that script. There's nothing new Museveni can do. Nothing. His script is the same. He has used it over and over again. And we know the power of the state. They can plant a gun in my car, in my house, in my office. They can do anything. And do anything. But, and I know they will probably do it at some stage, but the point is that what we have started here, even if they killed me, it would not stop. Because we know we are an ideological army, and we produce things which make promises to people which are tangible. Now, the spokesperson of Uganda police, that is Fred Nanga, says they are not aware about his connectivity to ADF rebels, but what they know, Joseph Kableta is accused of offensive communication, and all they want is to avail himself to the joint task team carrying out the investigations. Whether the, he says uh, uh, there is connectivity to ADF, we are not aware of that. That is his version. But we need to listen to him, and uh, we encourage him to uh, avail himself to the joint task team carrying out that investigation. Well, that is Fred Nanga, the spokesperson of Uganda Police. I don't know how this is going to end, but I'll keep you posted right here on The Buzz UG. In other news... Uh, recently, we have seen a section of bloggers on social media announcing dead President Museveni's brother, General Salim Saleh, others saying he's critically sick and admitted in hospital, suffering from intestinal cancer. And we hadn't had any government official speaking about these death rumors circulating on different social media platforms. But guess what? General Salim Saleh himself has finally spoken about these death rumors. Uh, General Salim Saleh, in his own words, says... Some people have announced me dead, but I'm here in Nakaseke district talking to my people. Tell those that are spreading the false rumors that we have seen Saleh working and mobilizing people to get better through getting involved in development projects. Well, there you go. That is President Museveni's brother, General Salim Saleh, making it clear that he's alive and kicking. So if you have been spreading the death rumors, you better stop. Actually, he said that statement on Sunday. Well, in other news, a section of opposition supporters on social media have listed the opposition leader in parliament, Horebo Mathas Mbuga, among the members of parliament who received the 40 million from the Speaker of Parliament, Right Horebo Anita Among. 
However, recently during a press conference, Horrible Mathas Mbuga addressed this issue and revealed that it's true some members of parliament told him they received the 40 million for gratuity. <laughs> Mbuga also commented on the insecurity that is currently in the Democratic Republic of Congo. He says this is the time we have to see East African community working tirelessly to settle the situation in the Democratic Republic of Congo. But unfortunately, nothing has been done yet and many people are being killed in the DRC. Uh, Simanyi wa baba gamba antibali mulugulumu mchimichi mwecha East Africa Echinyuicha tamiro nga tebata gila bovunanyi zivwa Na eche nyezo gamba anti ngaba kule mbeze Ikisoka tukwati buwa kwe choku vanga mkisela chino Haba antube Kongo bali muduka duka well, there you go. Those are some of the latest stories making headlines. And of course, uh, I'm still gathering more stories for you. So what you have to do, subscribe to the Buzz UG in case you haven't. And also tap on the bell for all the notifications. My name is Melads Milo, a.k.a. Fuller. Thank you.